I have never mentioned in my videos, but this is so, so, so important. This is the scarcity mindset. And growing up, for some reason, I just have like a really big scarcity mindset. Like I just feel like I have to save things, I have to hoard things. So sometimes I would buy makeup products and lipsticks and I would just hoard them until they expire. <laughs> Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna make this video about how I save more than $1,000 per month and uh, a disclaimer, I am not like a super, uh, what do you call it, like super high earner and these tips that I tell you can apply to like most jobs, like if you are working 40 hours per week, this is possible for you. And even if you're working a minimum wage job, this can also work for you. So let's get started. Um, a little background about me so that, I don't know, I can be more relatable. So I graduated around two years ago and I started working like immediately after that. And currently I'm on my second year as a working professional and I work as an accountant. And so let's get started. So first, how to save $1,000 per month. There are two components to this. Component number one is that you have to save. Save on what you spend on. And component number two is you have to earn. So when you save more and you earn more, naturally you will have more savings. You will have more money saved up. And so number one is rent. Rent is by far the most expensive thing, especially at a place like LA, rent is so high. So I wanna say you have to get really creative. For example, where I'm living in right now, this is actually a renovated garage. So it is a lot cheaper than actual apartments in the nearby area. And I live in Alhambra, and so Alhambra is like close to downtown and it's like also next to the freeway. And so to me, this is like an excellent choice. Yes, like living in a garage sounds really weird, but in a renovated garage, you actually have a bathroom, you have a kitchen, you have all the basic things that you need. And my landlord even gave me a bed and also a desk. And so just be creative with your living space. It doesn't have to be like a super luxurious apartment. I know a lot of my colleagues, they live in those like fancy apartments with a lot of facilities, but me personally, I don't use those facilities. So even if I lived in those places, it's gonna be a waste to me. I was living in like a somewhat luxurious, fancy, uh, upscale apartment in downtown, and I did not use their facilities enough to compensate for the fact that I'm paying so much in rent. And so I decided that I should live in a cheaper space as long as it is quiet and safe. And number two is food. Food is also one of the top categories in which people spend a lot of money on. And I'm guilty myself. I used to spend so much on food and it is just not worth it because guess where your food goes the next day? Uh. <laughs> And the only thing that lasts forever about food is your Instagram photos. But honestly, other than like showing off to your friends or, you know, um, to me, it's like remembering what I ate at what restaurant so I can reorder it. Like other than that, what other purpose does it serve? So I like to meal prep a lot and I also like to just uh, eat at cafeteria if there is one and just like have free food whenever I can uh, where I work. And I know in the modern workplace, there are a lot of opportunities in which you can get free food, even if they're not like meant for you. Sometimes I have like leftovers from like other teams or just like, you know, leftovers for from other people, but then they just put it in the communal kitchen, they just put it in the central kitchen where everyone can access and it just, you know, take some of that. Sometimes it's like Mendocino Farm, so it's like pretty good food too. And so just take advantage of that. Whenever there's free food, free food always prioritizes. And then cheap food, like cheap food as in like homemade food or cafeteria food. And of course, there's also the Amex free food. The Amex gold card gives you $10 for dining. And also the platinum card gives you $15 in Uber credits, which you can use in Uber Eats. So those are also like kind of free food or cheap food category because it depends on how much you order since it's only like 10 and 15 in each. And so free food and then there is also cheap food and then your last choice should be like the regular food when it's like, 
you know, more than 15 bucks. I call that regular food. And so I try to stay away from regular food. And number three is something that I have never mentioned in my videos, but this is so, so, so important. This is the scarcity mindset. And growing up, for some reason, I just have like a really big scarcity mindset. Like I just feel like I have to save things. I have to hoard things. So sometimes I would buy makeup products and lipsticks and I would just hoard them until they expire. And it's not like knowingly, I don't hoard them knowingly, but I just kind of, I feel like, oh, they're so pretty, they're so beautiful, and um, I, I don't want to open the package and stuff like that, and like for the first couple of days that I get it, and then after that, I just forget. I forget I even have this item, and I just stuff them in my drawers, I stuff them everywhere, my makeup products are like everywhere, and I just forget about them, and they expire, and I have to buy new ones, and it's just so annoying because I have this scarcity mindset. So, the scarcity mindset is basically thinking that there is not enough. There, is, I have to save things, I have to hoard things. So in order to get rid of that scarcity mindset, number one is I try to use up like generously the stuff that I already own. And this might go, go against a lot of the, I guess, frugal people's like teachings and all that because you want to use as little as possible so you can use it for as long as you can. But my ideal here is that you should get rid of the scarcity mindset. You should start using the things that you already bought so they don't get forgotten, so you don't forget about them, and also you don't waste them so they don't expire. Also, because you're using and enjoying the things that you already have, it also helps with getting rid of the urge of buying new things. So a lot of the times, for example, like I'm talking about us women, us girls here, we want to do like a cat eye, like a cat wing liner, and sometimes we just feel like, oh, uh, maybe I ran out of the eyeliner and I have to go out and get one. And then a couple weeks or a couple days later, we look in our drawer and we're like, oh my god, I have like three eyeliner, like three liquid eyeliner. And honestly, this happens very, very, very often. A lot of people, a lot of us, we just buy things and we forget about them because an eyeliner is not that expensive. It's not like a Birkin. I mean, you can't really forget about a Birkin, can you? But you can forget about little items like eyeliners or eyeshadow or like lip gloss, things like that. They're very small and um, its monetary value is not that high, but then they add up. And so get rid of your scarcity mindset. Start using the things that you already have. This also gets rid of your shopping urge. And the second part of that is the money app that I use. And this is part of the secret. I really believe in the law of attraction and the secret. And the money app just gets you like a virtual check every single day that you can deposit and then you can spend all of it. And to me, this not only gets rid of the scarcity mindset, this also gets rid of your urge to shop. Like sometimes when I want to let's say get a Himalayan Birkin and I'm like I really want to get it and I get a virtual check of like I don't know eighty thousand dollars and then I just spend those virtual eighty thousand dollars on my uh, Himalayan Birkin virtually and that just gets rid of my urge to shop and so it's like a win-win situation and number four is Ebates so for the times when you cannot get rid of your urge to shop I always recommend shopping with some cash back some money back and so one important thing that I do is that I always turn on Ebates in my Chrome extension and I make sure to use it when I have you know shopping needs when I need to shop for something that I really need when it's like an urge that I can't get rid of I just use Ebates and then the next is earning have multiple source of income I preach like I preach having multiple sources of income ever since I was in college I just really believe in having multiple sources of income and if you ask me which sources I will share a couple with you right here when you own stocks via Robinhood it is a commission free platform where you can buy stocks and then a lot of these stocks have a dividend and so here I will just show you a couple of the stocks that give you dividend and you can do your own calculation and see whether or not it makes sense to you and if you believe in the long-term growth of these companies I highly suggest you to get stocks that pay you dividends so this is like an income that is totally passive that just comes to you even if you don't work for it and next up is having bank accounts so bank accounts also give you passive income as in they give you a certain like percentage of what you saved like in the savings or checkings account and the savings account that I really really preach is discover discover has a really high interest rate so it gives you a really good return with what you already have and there are also a lot of like site on bonuses for these bank accounts and some of them are like 200 
300 and it really adds up you can easily get a thousand by just putting your money into different bank accounts to get their like initial offer so I really highly preach these and so I will leave the links in the info box so you can access it really easily and I cannot preach this more because it is just so passive you don't have to care about anything and if you have like a paycheck coming in every month you just deposit your money into these bank accounts and you know you it's like a hands-free thing and the last one is having a money mindset so I really really preach having a money mindset and just like have your mind focused on what you want to do do you want to be financially free do you want to uh, be financially independent I listen to a lot of audiobooks like Think and Grow Rich, Think Big. These are just some audiobooks that I play constantly over and over again as like a mantra to remind myself my priorities. So my priority this year is to spend less and to earn more. And so I just put this mantra on and it honestly really helps. It kind of sounds like a gimmick, but it actually works. It just puts your mind really focused and of course like other than having the money mindset, it also teaches you practical ways to earn money and also how to manage your personal finances. So I will also link the Audible link where you can get two free books um, and yeah. Uh, you, you know the drill, just get two free books and you can listen to these two free books over and over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos like this. I really enjoy making videos like this, so I hope you guys like it too, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!